everybody. My name is Arika, playing once again some Battlefield 3 on the PC, and it's like I've been infested with something. I, I, I don't know what it is, the, the recon fever or something, because I have just been playing almost exclusively as recon for the past days, and, well, this game was really not about being the recon as much as it was about killing, killing this guy, the Wind Wizard. I'm telling you, here in the beginning, I just... I was almost sad for the guy, because every time he turned around the corner, he just got a big fat slog in his face. Yeah, he expected something different, but it was just a slog. Uh, but yeah, he was just so unfortunate, and nope, Mr. Guy, you don't go in there. But yeah, this Wind Wizard guy who was just always so unfortunate. It was like every time he was trying to play the objective and go for C, he just got dunked on when he turned around the corner. I mean, it wasn't even funny. And I get that guy and both of his kneecaps. And here's what I'm talking. Here's what I'm talking about. Like, look at that. He was just going straight for C and bam in the head, man. Ugh. I'm almost sorry for him. And I don't know what happened to the slugs there. I think it's yeah. That was probably because I was moving. If you move with this gun, you know, the slugs are not gonna go where you want them to. You can't dance around with the gun, but when you take the shot, you better stand still. That's just a piece of advice right there. And ah, uh, the surveillance medals, I am absolutely in love with them. I get almost one of these per round or something because I just get spots every second, as you see. And you know, the points for the spot bonuses here, man, they're, they're great, but you know what's even better? That I can scout out the entire lower sea area. Like, that's, that's pretty much like 30% of the map or something, where my entire team can see where everyone is, at, at least, well, not the entire map, but at least downstairs. Uh, and I'm also looking up the stairs here. I'm, really, when I play the aggressive recon and when I play aggressively in general, I, I think of it as my number one rule and objective to kind of make a huge radius around me where there's just absolute mayhem. You know, like, th throw grenades far away into highly populated areas, shooting people uh, at different ranges. Of course, shooting the ones closest to me the first, but, you know, just trying to create the biggest circle around me uh, filled with mayhem. Because that way you're gonna affect the most people's decision making by, like, okay, that guy's just going absolutely ham out there. I'm gonna try and uh, take care of that guy. And sure, I die a lot that how, and I don't know, this combat guy. But yeah, you die a lot, but it, it's all in, in great favor because you just contribute to your team so much by not only distracting the people in front of you, but also the people below you by throwing nades down there and just tr trying to really cover an area. And even if you throw a nade down somewhere, you know, people might not take damage from it, but they can be like, hey, okay, a nade just came from that direction, I'm gonna go there. You know, and, and just draw attention generally, but you know, that only really applies to close quarters maps with a lot of people on both sides. Because in the Wind Wizard again, man, that guy was just, it was always around this corner too. And it wasn't like I was camping here for the entire map. I mean, sure, it's a, it's a great corner to hold down and it's a great place for having your equipment. And I finally get dunked on. But uh, yeah, it's a great place for having your equipment. There are a few places in this map that I like. That is probably my number one place along with, you know, the rooms, the showers or whatever they are uh, on A. Uh, it's uh, up on the first floor and then the kitchen in B. You know, that's my absolute three areas. And if I'm holding C, I'm here. If I'm holding A, I'm up in the bathrooms. If I'm holding B, I'm in... Uh, I'm, I'm in the kitchen, you know, it's even though it shouldn't be there. I'm actually pretty good in the kitchen though, and nope. <laughs> in the smacker, man. That was just such a good shot. I wasn't even aimed in. I, I, I didn't even hope for anything there, but it's just so satisfying, man. Just get turned on, Mr. Guy. You, you don't leave your back exposed to me, okay? That's just how it goes. And guess who we have in here on the stairs? Oh, hey, Wind Wizard. You want some more of my slugs? <laughs> And uh, I think I get a, yeah, a Jesus nade there. I didn't really think of anyone to be there, but, you know, it's always a good thing or a good idea to, to clear out the area, especially if it's close quarters and, you know, it's taken by the enemy. But, uh, yeah, they, they didn't really get such a good comeback. I mean, sure, they took all the flags here and 
did you saw how I, I, I saw how I got up those stairs? I always turn that uh, that way when I get up those stairs, un unless I know that I have friendlies up there, because they're always looking down the stairs. You got to think of it from their perspective once in a while, and you know, I, I should around, I should have turned around and, and killed that guy because I could have suppressed him to hell, but. You know, I just I, I didn't think correctly there with the target acquisitioning. Should have aimed for him instead. But you know, you make these mistakes, and when you watch your recordings, if you record video yourself, you can you can really learn a lot. And you know, by uh, submitting uh, videos to to YouTube, and you know, therefore watching them a lot by by the editing process, I really learned a lot in Battlefield. It's not really something that I would advise professionally, you know, for getting better, but it certainly helps. I can say that much. And uh, through the smoke, through the fire and flames, I shot that guy in the head. That was, uh, there was, and and that guy threw through a teammate. I mean, it's it's really going well here in the, in the beginning, or actually most of the map. Um, I survived long. Get on some, get on some good streaks, and generally just do a lot for my team. And do you see what I mean? I threw a nade down there. I didn't hope for anything. I didn't see anyone down there, but I knew there was enemies coming up there because, you know, I saw I, I was shooting for their heads, but they were heads head glitching. So you know, I just wanted to disturb them, and you know, I got a kill by it. And just imagine how much I helped my team out in the process. And I still have my be uh, my uh, tucks down, just spotting everything. It's it's perfect. I'm just doing a lot, and that's what I discovered I can do with the recon class. I I did um, a video some time ago where I talked about the recon class was the worst class in uh, Battlefield 3, and you know I'm I st I'm, I'm still kind of true to that video. But when things changed, I want to say the aggressive recon is an entirely different class uh, from if you play with sniper rifles. Sniper rifles is such a different class from actually having the ability to use something like a shotgun or a PDW and dunk a guy in the way and I see that it's my time to get out of there now. So I just get the hell out of there and try to pull off a back rage because I kind of have a very good idea where they are right now and I don't know what the hell that guy was aiming for but he, he's not aiming anymore and yeah I just held off a little because I wanted to see if people rushed out there was a lot of people there and I don't know what hit me there I really don't know what that was but it didn't do a lot of damage luckily and the spots are going off right now can you even imagine how much I'm helping my team or at least the teammates who you know play the game enough that they should know to how to use their minimap every couple of seconds you know, I am, I'm, I'm on a streak and I'm not even killing people right now. Do you see what's happening? And, and I'm also going for the objective. So, you know, this was just such a good round. I couldn't even believe it while I was playing it. You know, it was uh, one of those rounds where your heart just starts beating, you know, forcefully out of your chest almost. And it, it was a great experience. And, you know, Battlefield 3 has really been has really be, been uh, renewed to me after uh, I've been playing the recon class a lot. I think like it's an entirely new uh, experience but you know there's really a lot of, of options that I haven't discovered because I haven't really given the class a chance. That's a shame when, when you see how good the aggressive recon class is for me because I am very aggressive but I just like being able to around everyone around me and over the the more than a year that Battlefield 3 has been around, I have become an absolute ninja at the arts of reviving. I mean, I have pulled off some crazy revives and, and successfully. And look at that Sultan of Omar. Oh, he got dunked through a plant. I didn't even see that guy. That was it was great. And here I'm just holding back a little. That's the weakness of this class when you gotta crouch in a corner to get some health because. You know, you're, you're not a medic, or an assault, sorry. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm used to saying medic. Um, but yeah, it's just such a great class. I would recommend, and ugh, give me that, Sam. No? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I get revived, so that's just as good, I guess. Uh, but yeah, this didn't really work out. Um, I don't, I don't know what happened here. My teammate didn't see that guy. He was just walking all over the place. He probably got my teammate too. 
But you know, gotta start on, uh, gotta start over. And I think this is actually where my luck turns. Uh, I think I think the other team gets it together here. Uh, it's not like they're gonna win. I mean, you know that much already. That's not really a big spoiler. But this kit, I would absolutely recommend to you. You've seen me play a couple of variations of this kit uh, over the couple of the, the last couple of days, and. I don't know, I think this is the one, the, the, the version of the kit that I would uh, recommend to people who's very good at target, at, at target acquisitioning. That means, you know, spotting the target, moving your mouse, you know, therefore your shotgun over to his general direction, you know, giving you a good good hit. It's, it's you know, a, a combination of, of aiming and, and being precise. Uh, if you're very good at that, I'd say that this is the setup for you. This weapon, the tox, not the mask, because that's too big and people just get annoyed when they see it and they shoot it. The tox can go pretty unnoticed. And also the spawn beacon is very good if you're in an area of, you know, concentration. You can really provide the numbers that how to win that battle and therefore actually hold the map because where there's the most guys, you have the most guys. And that pretty much determines how the battle goes because then the other people can flank around and eventually those big battles will be settled by your team winning because of, you know, you know some of your teammates can, can spawn on that thing and the beacon at the same time, if you have that at your spawn beacon, if you have the tux right there you know, next to each other, you give the people who spawn on you such an advantage over the people who are already there um, so yeah, that's that's how it works. But I get dung done again. But uh, fear not, fear not. I am coming back. But as I, as I said, you've all you've also seen me use some other variations of this kit. Uh, oh yeah, and also I use squad cover. I use that almost exclusively uh, because I think it's the most important uh, squad perk. That's I guess a video for itself. But you know how to explain it shortly is just. You know, being suppressed less with pretty much any gun is a big advantage. And get turned on, Mister. You gotta, you gotta look at your back when you go indoors, especially when there's enemies there. Um, but you know, a another more, I'd say, noob-friendly version of this kit is again, you know, the recon class with the tox and the the spawn beacon, and then instead the M1014 with I prefer buckshot. You can also go with the flechette if you are playing on 64 player only maps. Then I'd actually, I think I'd recommend flechette in that case. But if you're playing uh, 32, 48, I'd say go with the buckshot because there's, you know, quite some distance between each enemy you meet there. But 64, I'd say flechette would probably help you out in a lot of cases. Um, but yeah, that's, that's I'd say, uh, the best recon kit out there. Uh, at least it is for me, um, but you know, some people like playing the recon so they can so they can snipe people. Um, I like playing the recon so I can be up and personal and help my team out with the spotting, with the spawning, and just you know with just creating a lot of chaos. When I team up with support players, it just goes absolutely not. And look at this, I get the wind wizard again. Just final time here, I think. Uh, just so unfortunate but you know he, he, he stayed away from me he learned his lesson but you know once again I finally got dunked on but that is it for my favorite recon kit uh, I just cut the last two minutes of the map because I didn't really do too much but just played uh, defensively and uh, yeah that's that's about it but I'd like to know what you think about this kit do you think I'm just absolutely out in the woods uh, you know on my opinions of the recon class do you think I'm just a total nut job? Um, do you like the recon class? Do you dislike the recon class? I'd like to know what you think because there's quite a lot of controversy when it comes to the recon class and I have a sort of love, love hate relationship to it I must say. Um, you know on one hand I think that just sniping and staying back in most cases are just not beneficial for your team and having a lot of recons can destroy it in, in a lot of maps and game modes but on the other hand as an aggressive recon are you crazy you can do a lot of damage and a lot of helping and just you know really be a team player you won't get the highest score but you'll do awesome my name is Riga it's been a pleasure see ya